across in Orlando, there's another. Connor Ben steps back in the ring. That in itself is controversial. And as he does so, Ben's had a real swipe at some of the critics. The, the negative I'm getting now, if I, I don't even, I'm not really bothered because the reality is, has anyone in the past year come up to me and ever said anything? No. Those people who have time to comment on Twitter or comment on socials, would I rather be them or me? I ain't got time to sit on Twitter and troll people. I ain't got time to. I'm not. A, I'd rather be me than um, Carol every day of the week. Twice on Sundays, I'd rather be me. Or Oliver. Or I'd rather be me, man. Like, now think about it. I'd much rather be me, man. Seriously. So let them have their opinion. Let them say what they want to say. It's quite hypocritical when you're praising self-confessed PD cheats, you know, in UFC and going, you know, I'm back fighting. I'm back winning and I'm back getting paid. So whether they like it or not, it doesn't matter. What's he going to do? You know, they're going to sit on Twitter and go back to their miserable lives. So he failed two <laughs> voluntary drug tests. He hasn't fought since April 2022. It won't be here. It's in Orlando. He says there are hypocrites out there. Adam, he says you're one. Mm. What do you want me to say? And then, Should I'm, he be fighting? Um there's two ways of looking at it from a moralistic point of view absolutely not he shouldn't be fighting no because he hasn't gone through the process uh, in order to clear his name of what he did uh, or he what, what, what he did last year um, but because the system is incredibly broken there's nobody to stop him from doing what he wants this weekend as, uh, as he keeps telling us he is, he's clear to fight this weekend over in, in Florida I mean you would say I'm no hypocrite I stand by what no, I not say. At all. It's I all nonsense. Stick, Listen, I stick people, to my view. Pe people who throw around personal insults in conversation, and you've experienced it yourselves in this studio when you've had certain people in here and you've had conversations with them. People who throw personal insults around, it's because they're uncomfortable with the conversation. That's, you're you're that, sitting beside one. Well, the, the reason why they do it, rather than use rhyme or reason or logic in order to actually about, argue your point, well you throw around personal insults is what yeah, you do in order to, it's called deflection that's absolutely what that's what you're trying to do at the end of the day if Conor Ben wants to have a conversation with us here at Tuxport he's more than welcome to do to us so say that we've never actually approached him he's absolute nonsense he slapped a microphone out of Gareth A. Davis's exactly uh, right. hands at a boxing event when we wanted to have a conversation with him about this particular situation the thing is the story from and, and this is quite ironic because tomorrow the 23rd of September is the one year anniversary of when he received back the information about the second failed drug test it's the, the story just has not added up from start to finish. What is happening at the weekend, you've got a young man that has failed two performance-enhancing drug tests, that has faced no consequences or repercussions for those uh, uh, drug tests, and he's now fighting this weekend in hand-to-hand -hand combat against another athlete. That's wrong. We haven't, we haven't gone through a process. Aided and abetted and, by and his promoter. And what he's also just said in there about UFC and John Jones and various other athletes, yes, there are plenty of other athletes across boxing, MMA, that have failed drug tests. But look at those stories individually. Every single one of them has gone through a process and received some type of punishment. John Jones absolutely has done that. He's been banned from the UFC. Tyson Fury, a person that received a two-year backdated ban, as per the British Boxing Board of Control. Canelo Alvarez, he's been banned as well, receiving backdated Perfect. bans. All these people have received punishments for the things that they have done. This has been down to navigating a very broken system. That is where we're at right now with this. And that is why I'm vocal about it. And that's why other people are being sure vocal thing. about it. Do you bother about who wins in Orlando? No, listen, no, not really. What, in, in Conor Ben's fight? Yeah. Listen, I have no personal gripe with Conor Ben. I wish him all the best. I wish him health, love, success. I wish him, I hope he makes an absolute ton of cash. But what I also want for the good of the sport and good of boxing is that every single athlete, not just ones with deep pockets that know a lot of people who've got very big brains and know how to navigate a system, that all athletes answer to the things that they do wrong. Sure. There's two positive drug test failures that have not been answered for. Sure. 